You are welcome to Messiah Revelation Ministry. We are a prophetic end time ministry. Um, in today's video, we are talking about the, the vision that John saw uh, when he was at the island of Patmos, where, according to the vision, uh, the Antichrist had a device and with that you having the device you cannot buy and you cannot sell so um, you can't buy you can't sell if you don't have the mark and the mark of the beast and the lord is allowing everybody in the world to see the possibility that a time will come where you don't have um, what is required if you do not comply with a mandate then you cannot buy uh, you cannot sell and this is the situation that we are in with the big uh, v uh, in the u.s now um, according to now the end begins and the prophecy newswatch.com um, they are contemplating that uh, for those who are in the u.s army uh, if you don't have the V, uh, there will be consequences, even um, the possibility of you being caught martialed because you don't have um, the V. And there's also a requirement that um, federal employees also um, uh, get the, the, the big V. And ordinary people are also affected, uh, those who um, are not working because uh, you cannot be able to assess certain things um, in France, uh, in Australia, if you don't have the V, you cannot go to certain shops, you cannot buy food, you cannot buy water, you cannot uh, buy medicine. And in the churches are also not uh, excluded. And a lot of uh, pastors uh, are preaching. They are using Roman 13, um, where Paul advises to obey the rulers. And the mandate about the big V is the mandate from the rulers. And some apostate pastors are teaching that uh, we must obey the mandate and therefore we must um, accept the big uh, V. And remember what uh, Franklin Graham said, the son of evangelist Billy Graham. Uh, he said um, that if Jesus were alive, he would get the vax. Uh, so he is using false teachings, false doctrines to lure people uh, to, uh, to take uh, the vax. And also remember what the Pope is saying, that uh, taking the vax it's an art of love. So uh, the Lord said, love your neighbor as yourself. And the Pope is saying that if you take the, the vax, uh, it means that you love uh, your neighbor. Uh, so these are all examples of um, conditioning, spiritual conditioning uh, going on uh, in the churches. You have to remember that if you take the mark of the beast, there are eternal consequences and some people are saying that uh, the big v is not uh, the mark of the of the beast so let's assume that the big v is not the mark of the beast and uh, you have to uh, take it and i will remind you of what happened with the prophet daniel and he when he was in the um in the palace of the king um, he refused to take food offered to the idols. Uh, it was not a mark of the beast uh, spoken of in the book of Revelation, but Daniel as a prophet and as a righteous person decided that there was something that had contaminated the food because the food was offered to idols. So he didn't want to take the food even at the point of being killed and Daniel was saying that hey I have a religious exemption 
Uh, you have to exempt me because um, the king that I serve, the lord that I serve, um, the, the creator of heaven and uh, on earth, he would not um, he would not be happy for me to defy my body by taking something uh, inside my body that is not good. And so if you're a Christian, if you're a righteous person, it's not everything that you can take, even if it is not the so-called mark of the beast. Because there are a lot of things that you inject that um, definitely they are poisonous because they have uh, some um, consequences. Um, a lot of people are saying that we have to leave everything to science and the scientists in this world uh, they are saying that oh it's good take the V is good take the V is good you have to remember that Lucifer has hijacked science and if you look at uh, history, throughout history. Uh, even when you look at Isaac Newton, uh, he was practicing occultism. Uh, if you look at Charles Darwin, um, the person who uh, came out with the doctrine, uh, Darwinist doctrine, Charles Darwin, a scientist, uh, he, uh, he was a member of the occult. Now according to my research, the occult degree that Charles Darwin had is the same occult powers that the Antichrist will have. So Charles Darwin was not a scientist, he was an occultist. Isaac Newton too was not a scientist, he was an occultist. And there are so many philosophers that Charles, like Charles de Montesque, and they were all part of the, and the Freemason and the Illuminati. And so it is not um, surprising that um, Satan has hijacked uh, science and will use that um, domain, the quote-unquote scientific community, uh, to deceive so many people. And recently you read that the American Medical Association in the United States uh, has said that if you have a child, um, on the birth certificate you should not write whether the child is a male or female. Why? because they have an agenda. And is it a scientific basis of saying that? No, but um, they are using science as a cover to push an agenda that is not uh, good for you uh, as a Christian, as a believer. And if you, um, if you remember the story of Daniel, who refused to take uh, food offered to adults, and uh, that is your um, it, that's your, your, your model. Daniel is your uh, model. And there are a lot of people who face the, uh, the possibility of losing their jobs. A member of this channel told me that the spouse will lose his job coming um, September 27, 2021, uh, if he doesn't take the big V. Um, what do you do when you are faced with that um, uh, situation? When you are faced with the Daniel dilemma, uh, Daniel has to eat the food, or he doesn't have to eat the food. Uh, if he doesn't eat the food, he will be killed. Uh, if he eats the food, the food, according to Daniel, uh, is food offered to idols, and so uh, he should not eat it. Uh, he's claiming authority from uh, the king who created uh, heavens and earth. Um, I will remind all of you what Jesus said. What profiteth a man who, when or if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? What, what will profit you? Job security, will it profit you? Your houses, will it profit you? Your bank accounts, will it profit you? Uh, if you gain all those things and lose your soul. So that's the question you have to ask yourself as you are deciding whether uh, to take a V or not to uh, take a V. Uh, a V or the V may not be the mark of the beast, but uh, it doesn't have to be the mark of the beast for you to decide whether to take it or not. Um, you have to look at 
um, the consequences, you have to look at uh, the agenda behind it. You have to remember that we are in the era of the new world order and the agents of the new world order, they are not agents of God, they are agents of Lucifer. And Lucifer has an agenda in John 10 verse 10 to steal, to kill, destroy. And so, uh, if one quarter, if three quarters of the world's population dies because they have taken poison, because there's a war, uh, because there's a disease, uh, the agents of Lucifer wouldn't worry at all. I think they would be happy. Uh, they would be happy for an angel to come and destroy. They would be happy for um, the uh, coming of a destroyer angel to reduce the population. Definitely it will help them because that is their mentality, that is their work. Uh, some of them are uh, interested in reducing the global population. And they are not interested in going to heaven because they, belong, they don't believe in heaven, they, be, they don't believe in God, and they believe in their master, uh, Lucifer. And so for them, um, anything that reduces global population is good, whether it's war, uh, whether it's war as happened in Afghanistan, whether it's a pandemic as we are seeing it now. Uh, whether it is abortion of innocent uh, people as the Planned Parenthood, that abortion organization uh, is supporting in the, uh, in the U.S. and all over the world. Uh, whether it's an earthquake that will reduce the population of the earth. Whether it's farming that will reduce the population of the earth. I read a book by Thomas Motus. Mortus, I believe, was a British political economist who will be very happy that um, nature will take uh, its own course and reduce world population through diseases, through wars, and through farming in order to bring equilibrium. And that's the mentality of the New World Order, uh, who will be very happy for these things to happen, whether it's farming, whether it's war, whether it's pandemic. And so, decide what profiteth a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? That is the question you have to answer. And some of us have lost our jaws before, and we've actually been. Um, uh, persecuted. It's not because we committed any crime. We were persecuted on account of our allegiance to the throne of the Lamb of God. And so, some of you who are going to lose your jaws because you are not taking the V, and you have to take Daniel as your model, that Daniel didn't have to eat food offered to idols, and he was prepared to die because he knows that somebody greater will be able to resurrect him. And when Daniel had the vision, the angel told him that you Daniel go and sleep until your time. Go and sleep until your time. He told Daniel to go and sleep. And so if you lose your job because you never took the V or if you lose your home because you didn't um, take the V. Uh, the prophets before you, uh, they were martyred. Some of them were beheaded. Some of them were stoned to death. Stephen. Some of them. Uh, some of them lost their uh, belongings. And some of them were imprisoned. And it is coming. Imprisonment will be coming, persecution will be coming. The Antichrist will come. It is prophesied that the Antichrist will come and will come with a mark without which you cannot buy, you cannot sell. If you take the mark, eternally you are doomed. Your name will be blotted from the book of life. Even if it is not the mark of the beast, you have to remember 
Daniel, who refused to take food offered to idols. And so that should be your stand. Stand firm. Stand firm. Remember what the Lord told Prophet Moses. The Egyptians that you see today, you see them no more. They have a short time. Uh, Satan and his agents are very angry because their time is short. They know that. And now they are in the process of conscientizing people, including children, to take a device with that which they cannot buy, they cannot sell. A word to the wise is enough. Thank you.